Green Family Garden here. Man. We tried a lot this year, but we didn't try. I'm not gonna say it's hard because we were expected to only get one night of cold weather. One night. It was gonna dip down in the upper mid 20s, around in that area. Anyway, guys, that one night cost us a lot. Right here, guys, uh, with the papaya trees, every year this happens, so I'm not really concerned about them. But like my crotons right here, I mean, gosh, look at this, man. Some of these will come back. I'm not gonna snip them off because we're not out of the winter. So look at this. Brings tears to your eyes. My orange tree, I mean, this baby, he, he, he took a beating. Good part about this, and I actually I thought about not having so many different peach trees, maybe um, cutting it, cutting them down a little bit. But then this year I'm happy that I didn't. Okay, the reason why you may ask is because some of my peach trees I lost a lot of peaches, but like this guy hasn't started blossoming yet. Always remember, guys, plant multiple, just because. If some of your trees take off early, start blooming early, some start late. And if we get a freak of nature freeze like we've gotten this year, you still will have a good harvest for that upcoming year. So again, one, two, and three trees, okay? Now follow me, I wanna show you guys. Now again, this one here, she just started blossoming a couple days ago. But she's somewhat on time, okay? She should have been maybe next week, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. If you notice, there's not any leaves on the tree, maybe one or two. So she's still in her dormant state. She's slowly waking up. Data girl. And that was the only leaf on the tree. Okay, February. All right. Now, if you guys know about kumquats, they're supposed to be cold hardy. Oh, that one night, guys. Look, kumquat tree, one night. It's gonna be okay, but again, man, it's like, oh, devastating. We were out here um, that night uh, last week, like 10.30 with spotlights. Uh, honey, if you can turn the camera around, show our little concoction. This is what we put up. Okay, if you guys can see here, I know most, every year this happens with the uh, star fruit tree, but this again is the biggest it's ever been. And there's no way on God's green earth that I could have saved all of that. But what I should have done was pruned it down a week prior to probably my height and wrap it up insulated if i would have insulated it a lot better then i would have better results because right now probably about four to five feet up everything above that is dead okay and over here the avocado tree i'm going to show you guys and again these are from loads not a nursery they're from Lowe's some trees I will buy again from Lowe's and Home Depot some trees okay plum trees no okay like over here now directly up that's an avocado tree I've had that tree about three years and that tree now is about what do you think baby 20 feet tall yeah it's up there it's up there but again, next year, I'm gonna whack it in half and cover it, okay? I'm not gonna do what I did this year. But now again, inside of here, we probably have straw. If you guys can look down here, it's probably uh, leaves and straw 
probably up to here to keep it insulated insulated but this black plastic okay this um draws the heat so that way it keeps it a little bit warmer in there okay now we're going to go over here and i'm going to show you guys some stuff See how these papayas are standing but they're really not but the beautiful part about growing papayas guys honestly is for the fertilizer i mean look at this you don't even have to chop and drop you can just roll and crinkle like an old bugle cigar voila all right but what i have been doing is this one here bring the camera in close enough see how easy this is just folds over now i don't want anybody saying oh just watch this like little things like this here you snatch these off and you have organic fertilizer check me out so again is it worth growing papaya plants heck yeah if you have mulch or compost bin at your home go to your local grocery store Buy you a couple of papayas, papayas and grow them, even if you don't get the fruit. Chop them down and use them as fertilizer. It's worth it, guys. It's worth it. You figure each one of these trees is about 10, 10 pounds, okay? That's 10 pounds of organic fertilizer, and you only pay $1.99 or $2 for one papaya. Drop it in mulch, guys, and they grow. I've never bought a papaya tree in my life. These are all seeds from, like, right here. good business too i mean look at this look at how many seeds are in this look at this now what you would do is this it's awesome in there now you have fertilizer little ones go up up pot them and sell them in the spring simple as eight. all right okay now over here this is one of the other little pieces that you see here guys this little stuff right here I'm not going to make this neat right now. I'm just giving you guys the gist of it. Okay. But see here, you can just place this just like this, man. Just like that. That's going to feed that tree, man, for a whole year. Now imagine if we, this we know is organic because we've grown it ourselves. Okay. Now we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you guys what actually happened to the peach tree that was blossoming like crazy with that cold snap. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is February, and look, thinks it's spring. But guys, we don't have to worry, because tonight, I'm going to have a talk with God. And I'm going to tell him that he can't do this to us again now. You know, we try and do things right over here. Like, don't let our trees blossom at the wrong time. I lost like 80% of the fruit that was on this tree and the one right here to the right. Look at my pineapple plants, guys. This one here that's leaned over, this thing was like four feet tall. Now look, one night, guys, one night, one night. But I have good fertilizer this year. Look at this, man. That's, that, that's, guys, I, I'm gonna tell you how I got these pineapples buddy of mine that works at the market gave me a big case of these probably about um, when I had some pigs and I took all the heads and I just up potted them and I've had them for like eight years and now one night you can lose everything one night guys but you know Supreme always has a plan up his sleeve I got some up there by the house and they're beautiful now honey show them these pineapple plants so again location when you're growing certain um fruits and vegetables outside of your zone, your growing zone, plant them near a concrete structure. Remember, during the daytime, that concrete absorbs the heat. At night, it releases it, okay? Again, these are all of my, um, my damn lovely 
Pineapple plant. <laughs> Seriously, man, it makes me... I remember, y'all, I'm going to talk to God tonight, and I'm going to tell God. Now, God, don't do this again. This going to this gonna bother us. But anyway, I'm going to bring you up here and show you um, the other pineapple plants. That's why you always got to have a plan, okay? Maybe God's doing this to try and see how good we can use our brains, okay? Because Adam Ness, he had, was going through the same thing, lead. I'm sure everybody over the world is going through the same thing, trees blossoming out of season. This is my beloved mango tree. Look at this, y'all. Oh, bless his heart. And I had this one it's wrapped up. Dead. No, it's not dead. It's still alive down there. I'm talking about y'all, I had a teepee around this thing, man. But what I'm gonna do, all of these papayas that live. Oh, zoom in, babe. All right, y'all, check it out. Look at what I just found. Oh, here's some of my coffee grounds. See here, where it was buried? Look how green that one still is. So more than likely, I'm gonna have to cut this baby back. Somewhere about two feet up. This is why every winter I build my mounds around my, uh, especially my exotic fruit trees. I go high because I wanna keep that root mass as warm as possible. I mean, guys, that is key. Here's the proof in the pudding. Look at the top of the tree, bottom of the tree. Top, botan. And again, papaya. Go down to your market, guys, I swear to you. If you want a good side hustle for your children, um, you know, we all got kids and grandkids. Man, listen, it's worth it. Homestead and hustle, you guys could grow these and feed them to your pigs. Doesn't cost too much. Look at this, man. Look at that, that's good fertilizer. So even though this does look bad, but at the same token, it's gonna be a blessing because now I'm gonna have a, um, significant amount of fertilizer for my plants all right stay tuned guys we're gonna bring you up front
All right, y'all. I'm getting up close and personal today. All right. Now look at this tree right here. All right, honey, you're gonna have to climb my mound. All right. This tree, I can't think of the name of this tree to save my doggone life. You said it in the video. No, I couldn't remember it in that video. Oh. But anyway, guys, <laughs> honey, hold up the phone still so that people can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. Okay, again, here's my papaya here. All right, but now this one's strong. See right here? See, now this one, because it's protected, it's 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 gonna die back, but it's still gonna be about, only lose about half of its, um, half of its growth, okay? But in here, I have mulch, probably about two to three feet up and straw. That's why it's so warm inside of this area that this tree actually lives. Now we do have another one in front of the house. It's, it's gone because I didn't cover it up. Now we're gonna show you guys the pineapple, okay? And again, now this is the contraption, all right? This is how we make our tents. I got some two by, is it two by tens on job site. We ripped them down. Screwed them in. I bought some tarp from um, Lowe's for $7.99 two years ago when it was on clearance. Here's one of the boxes. See how old this box is? When things are on sale like this, guys, for seven and eight dollars, just buy them because we're gardeners. We're gonna need all of that stuff, okay? All right, but this is what we use. Let me turn it around. Six meters. Block. Black. Oh no, this is what I paid for it. See there, y'all? Seven dollars. Only. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me stop shucking and jive. All right, honey, watch your step now, okay? Okay, now right here, my avocado tree. Okay, watch your step, okay? See, these are dead. Okay, I lost these blossoms. But if you look inside there, I still have some, okay? But now as you go up higher, okay, where there was no wind block, I lost a lot of these babies, okay? to the top of the tree and again guys had i whacked her off about right here i could have saved a lot of this tree from going through so much winter stress that it actually went through okay and i'm gonna back you guys up a little bit here now again under here because there's more coverage i still have my blossoms thank you lord See there? All right, now, last but not least, my pineapple plants, okay? Now look how beautiful these pineapple plants here are because of the area that they're in, okay? Not only did I save them, look how healthy they are. Come April, they'll start to actually start to blossom new fruit for me this year okay this was the first year i was getting um mangoes on some of these trees but again i lost them due to this last cold snap but there's probably about 10 or 15 um pineapple plants in this area right here that are doing fine so i may not get mangoes but i'll definitely get pineapples I was waiting on pineapples, I mean uh, mangoes for so many years. And this was the first year that my tree was actually kicking butt. And that one night, guys, 
that one night. But am I going to let that stop me? No, I'm going to build a better system next year. Okay, let me walk out of here. I can't believe this, man. One night, guys. One night. Also, remember, y'all, even though the temps may not drop so low, if that wind blows, it's just as deadly on these um, exotic tropical cities. Okay. All right. Um, what else was it, babe? Oh, and my star fruit tree. Oh, God. You want to let's show them that, baby? Y'all, I might cry. Let's go run out of there. We can't get in that way. Yeah. Okay. Alright guys, come on in. Follow me. So here, now look at the size of these pineapples in here, guys. That's warm right here. Of course it's warm. I made a microclimate for these bad boys. Even some of my eggplants are still healthier because again, now you guys saw how this was leaning against this wall because it retains heat. That's why this plant here, it's still blossoming. Everything else that was exposed out here to the weather, it's not doing as good. There's the proof right there. It's the heat, guys, it's the heat. All right, look at how beautiful these plants are, okay? Location is key, just like with anything. But anything, anyways, guys, um, oh yeah, we're gonna show you the star fruit. Uh -oh. I don't think we should even call it star fruit. Call it scarecrow tree. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Look at this, man. Look at that. All, look at all the fruit. Look at this. Let's see where it's dying yet. All right, guys, look here. We got green right here. So even if we keep it this high, we still should have a great harvest next year. Okay, so right here, we're still good for right now. So thank God for that. Anyway, guys, take care of your trees. Take care of your loved ones. Everybody, Supreme Family Garden. May God bless each and every one of you. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh, Le Farmer. I was watching your videos one day. Man, you are kicking butt, bro. You are gardener of the year, brother. Yes, you are, man. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. May God bless everybody. Good night. All right, guys, look at my kumquat tree. Never have I seen this happen on a kumquat tree. I mean, look, look how it's burned like a bad perm. A bad what, man? Perm. Now look at this one. Look at this one. Now show them the one directly back there, babe. That one? Isn't that hideous? What is that one? Kumquat tree. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. All of that's new growth. That's why I took a baby for that. Here, Rubble. Hey boy. Guys, we have rubble outside with us today. Hey boy. Hey baby. Hey boy. Hmm? Yeah, I know. He's coming along, guys. He's coming along. Come on, boy. Get up. 
Take your time. All right, guys, have a good one.